Hey friend, how's it going? Thomas Decker here from GuitarRevolution.ca I want to help you to become the best lead guitars you can ever be. In this video we're gonna teach you about how to solo using the Dorian mode. Don't worry, it's not too complicated. With this lesson I'm gonna dismystify the Dorian mode for you, okay? Alright, what is the Dorian mode, right? Well, I don't want to complicate here a lot of theory. We're gonna get into it, but just a little bit. Just think with me like this. We're playing over a F sharp minor pentatonic or a backing track. It goes to F sharp minor, then E, then E major, then B major, and A major back to F sharp minor. Okay? That's the backing track that we are using for this lesson from Elevated Jam Track. So check them out. Now, <clears throat> uh, F sharp minor, you're gonna think of the pentatonic minor scale, right? First option. So finger one over F sharp and play the most famous of all shapes here. That's the best recipe for you to start soloing, right? The first step, the most solid step. So finger one over F sharp and second fret of E string. Finger one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Guess what? We can add the blue note. Okay, blue note on the G string with the pinky here. And on the A string on the third fret. All right? Now a simple way for you to change this minor pentatonic here to F sharp Dorian is just like this. Take a look. On the high E string, instead of one four, you're gonna do one three four. Okay, on the B string, instead of one four, you're gonna do one three four as well. And you're gonna see that this note here on the B string that we're adding is the one that makes this combination an F sharp Dorian, okay? In other words, let me explain it for, uh, for a minute here. Dorian is the second scale within any given major scale. What do I mean by that is F sharp, in this case here, is the second chord of the main major scale that we're using. If you look at the chords that we're using, F sharp minor, E major, B major, and A major, that is clearly the key of E major because we have here, E major is the first chord, A as the fourth, B as the fifth. But instead of ending on E, we're standing, uh, ending and starting on F sharp. That's the backing track. So we're mixing the F sharp pentatonic scale with the major scale of E. That's the most simple way that you can think of. Or just add the fingers that I just showed you here. Right? Or on the E string. And you're gonna see how this will sound so close together and you're gonna make some very cool melodies uh, over the backing track. Now I'm gonna put the backing track here, let's give it a go. Note that there's a swing. Right? So, F sharp minor. E, A, B, and A. All right, F sharp minor, pentatonic. Blue note, right? Now I'm gonna add the B note here on the... Right? Let's go. 
octave higher. Panatonic, right? Now let me add the note on the B string. On the E string. Sounds pretty cool. Now let me run this note. Alright, here I was just using that first shape of pentatonic, right? Uh, first down here, finger one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. I added the notes on the B, G, B, and E string. Here, because it's the blue note. On the B string, because it's the Dorian mode. And the E string because it's also part of the uh, major scale of E. One octave higher, same exact thing. And then I was just playing around here, right? I play super fast here. But... Can use finger two uh, and three instead. One thing that I like to play around is bar finger one here. Just like a double stop on the finger one. And then here, I, I still holding finger one here. And then I add my finger three here and then I bend, right? Octave higher. went down I can do like a also right here of fret 5 since I'm using all those notes right on the on the minor here I can give a little micro bend right just to get a little more aggressive there There you go, my friend. This is how you can start using the Dorian mode without even thinking too much of the, of the theory behind. Just make sure you have the proper chords. If you have different chords there in the sequence, it's not gonna work so well. It's not gonna work well at all. It's gonna be a different mode, all right? So make sure you have uh, the minor chord as a Dorian. And the modes is one of the main tools every lead guitarist carry in their tool belt. And if you want to carry more tools like this in your tool belt, download my 30-day lead guitar jumpstart guide. It's completely free. You can start working on your skills, on your tools, getting yourself equipped to become a better guitarist. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this is helpful and inspiring. Hope to see you in the next one. See you then.